everybody. Welcome to chapter 64 of my book, Live to 150. It's Mike Young, lifestyle nutritionist. And this chapter is about personal finance, believe it or not. And if you want some more detailed stuff on personal finance, you can go look at uh, my other YouTube channel, adigitalnomad.net. We started up some personal finance videos. And how does this relate to longevity or living to 150? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one is you're not going to... Um, have any money left to pay for anything which you, as you get over a hundred all right because i don't know if any if the actuarial tables have this in there but you're not going to have enough money left you're going to run out unless you learn how to manage money let me also say that i know that money's kind of made up these days it's just numbers on a screen it's fiat currency it's not even tangible or real or backed by anything anymore okay not really that's why you know we're in the age of cryptocurrency starting out Everybody knows it's just numbers on a screen. So don't worship money, but you need to learn how to control it. You need to learn how to gather it. You need to learn how to have enough so that you are not in financial trouble because that's the other part of this, the other side of the coin, because this is the financial chapter, is that if you don't have enough money, you're under a lot of stress. And stress is, I know, just pretty much imagined, but money stress is something that you're gonna to have to deal with, okay? And if you don't manage stress well, because you don't have enough money and you have money stress, that's gonna affect your health. It's gonna affect your longevity. And so you need to learn about this. So I'm not gonna go into like specifics of this. I'm gonna recommend you go over to, um, to over to a digitalnomad.net. And actually you can just type in when you get there, because that's actually will take you to our YouTube channel at digitalnomad.net. Go up in the search bar of that channel, type in a digital nomad, all one word, and type in personal finance. So it's three words all together, a digital nomad, personal finance. We're going to be releasing more videos over there. I'm not going to go into too much detail over here because this is really more about the food. Like I said, 80-20 on the food. But you really got to get your, your, your personal house, even if you don't own a house, in order in terms of your money. Because this it can be used for good or bad. It can be used to stress you out or for you to feel better than ever. And it's all based on how you handle it. And my guess is you probably weren't taught the right things growing up. You probably need some advice. And that's why I'm making personal finance videos now so that you get the advice that you need. Because you, like I said, you, you can't just ignore this. This is definitely a factor in you even wanting to live to 150. Because if you get into a pattern, you know, where you just can't make ends meet, and this has been going on for decades and you're like, oh my gosh, it's, ne it's never gonna be any different. It's, like, it's gonna put you in despair. You know, I had a chapter earlier about gratitude. How are you gonna be grateful for anything if you think that you're a complete failure in the money management category? And if you are, it's just like anything else. You just need to learn it. And the good thing is, it's not like calculus or something that's gonna be like very, very difficult to learn. This is not, just kind of like my book here that you're watching, Live to 150, the concepts themselves are not that difficult. It's more of a psychological thing to try to trick your own mind and retrain your own brain. And, uh, you know, because you've got all these ideas floating in your head. You've got all these voices possibly in your head telling you to do this or whatever. Or what? You just need to retrain that. That's what this chapter is about, is you need to recognize and you know who you are if if this is resonating with you that you need to do something about this okay this is not something where you can just pick up a different item at the grocery store this is it's not going to be that straightforward and that simple for you everybody's financial situation is different you could be on the verge of bankruptcy or you could have just gone through bankruptcy or you could be independently wealthy or somewhere in between i mean the idea is that you, you want to be closer to independently wealthy than to bankruptcy and I also think that you will feel better, too, as you get older, if you are not financially dependent on others. You'll feel like you want to keep going on. You have a reason. Whereas if you feel like, oh, gosh, I can't even do this myself, can't do that myself. But of course, all these little tasks you'll be able to do if you follow the chapters of the book. But if you're like, oh, my gosh, I have no money left. Now I just, I'm just taking their money. I'm just taking their money. I'm so old. You know, I might as well just be done with it. You know, we don't want you to have to feel like that. And you don't have to be in that situation either. Thanks for the, to the internet, to the information superhighway. You get to learn all this stuff. So share this chapter with anybody that you think needs to know about this stuff. And hopefully they'll go up to our other channel, like I said, get some personal finance videos. And 
if it's an issue, I'm just curious, we don't have to go into too much detail here in the comments, but just let me know where you are, if you want to share any struggles you've had in this area. And I'm just actually curious from a stress standpoint, like if, if, you ha if you've been in financial trouble, like what does that stress feel like to you? Because this is obviously a book about longevity and wellness and just uh, enjoying life. Like how, on what levels has that impacted you if you've had troubles? That will help to motivate someone. If, you, if they're reading this in the comments, help to motivate somebody to say, oh gosh, I feel like that too. And oh yeah, I can just get rid of that. Like I didn't know. Yeah, I mean, and you definitely can, no matter where you are at any point in time. No one's expecting you to be a multi-millionaire uh, or billionaire or anything like that. And that's not even necessary, okay? In fact, it may be just like a lot of these things we talked about in the previous chapter on protein, where I use examples of runners and, and weightlifters, bodybuilders. Whenever you do something to an extreme, you cross that line. You get it to a point when you start doing it and you're like, okay, now my body's working right. Everything's going just the way it's supposed to go, I feel good. And then you keep going, keep going, you get more and more extreme on something like that, like even like money, then it's going to be detrimental to your health. So you got to, a lot of this is actually knowing where that line is. And if you have good goals and you revise them and you're constantly looking into them, others are helping with you, you're going to know where that line is. And that's personal. That's between, you know, that's just, for you or or maybe you have a life partner or something someone else involved me you guys got to talk about that because you don't want the accumulation of wealth or money like i said it's not even real to end up killing you because it could it definitely could you hear people working themselves to death you have to find that balance now if you have no money and this is part of your goal where you're going to work really hard super hard for a certain amount of time and then you're going to stop that's fine too it's only for a period of time. It's in your goals. You've got it all planned out. Just make sure that you have some kind of order to this. Because I know money, even though it's not real, it's necessary. It's absolutely necessary. And that's why we have to have this channel on money stuck in here to a, to a longevity book. Because I wouldn't feel right if I ignored it. Because it would be a giant hole in, um, yeah, in this entire concept of longevity and wellness. So if you got anything out of this chapter, please hit that like button. And of course, subscribe so you get notified about next the next chapter coming up. Thanks. We'll see you in the next chapter. Bye-bye.